Hi guys, today's video is a video I've been doing on my YouTube channel for such a long time. I really don't know what, what year this is, maybe year seven, year eight, I'm not sure, but this is what I got for Christmas. should have, however, thought of this a little bit more through because there's no more Christmas in my office. I um, decided that this year how I wanted to tackle removing Christmas was just like one room every day um, until I obviously finished. And I just have my bedroom and my media room left, but I have removed Christmas from my office, my entryway, my kitchen, my living room. Um, so yeah, anyways, I don't know where I'm going with that, but I should have thought of giving you guys at least some type of Christmas festive background for this video. But let me just go ahead and share with you guys what I got for Christmas. It was also my birthday. So it's like a mix of birthday and Christmas presents and stuff I got myself because happy birthday to me. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grab like it. There's stuff everywhere. So the first thing is going to be a hat. Like you just know to expect a hat. In, in, in a haul video. Um, but this one is super, super cute. I am a big lover of Ralph Lauren. I mean, look at that back with the leather clasp. Like that is just so cute. Love the army green color. And these little bears actually come in a variety of like different styles. I don't know if that's like the right words. So, like this bear is just like, I don't know. I think he's like going to dinner. I don't know what he's doing, but there's like a bear that's skiing or holding a football or a soccer ball. Like there's just so many like different varieties of bears, I guess you could say. So anyways, this is super cute. Love it. And then I got this sweatshirt right here, which is just so stunning. I love that the polo horse is in a brown stitch. So just loving Ralph Lauren. I, all these little like details I look for. Um, and I just love the placement there as well. And it just says polo Ralph Lauren, which is so pretty in this like cream color, like off white. And then it's green with the brown stitching, the same brown stitching that is the horse. And then the Ralph Lauren part is actually in navy. So there's a, quite a few like different colors in this. Also got this Nail Aid Biotin Ultimate Strength. This is just something I got myself from Amazon. So I thought I'd show you guys this. I was wearing like, you know, acrylic nails there for a minute. And I just feel like I need to do some nail repair, even though I'm probably, I'm probably gonna go get my nails done and today. <laughs> so I don't know, but I just, got some of that. Um, I also got this item from Amazon for myself. It is a black sweater. Now I've actually seen this sweater um, on like Amazon accounts that I follow on like TikTok and um, I just had to have this in the black. It's so pretty. It's kind of like an oversized fit. It's a turtleneck and I just love the detail. It's actually really nice quality. It's a really heavy sweater. So I'm just kind of hoping though, it's like, eh. I mean, I wouldn't say it's like long enough for leggings. I probably have to wear like a longer t-shirt or something. Cause I kind of like to cover, you know, my bum bum when I wear leggings, but yeah. So this comes in a lot of colors too, by the way. I should probably just call this a Ralph Lauren haul. <laughs> like should just call it that. This is a birthday present to myself and I found this rare bucket Ralph Lauren bag. I don't believe this is like, this is not current circulation in the sense that it isn't, I don't believe this particular bag is on ralphlauren.com. I could be wrong, um, but it comes with the dust ruffle and I did find this on eBay. I absolutely love this. And I love the size of this bucket bag. I think that's really important for me. There are times where I think I will reach for a larger purse, but I do find myself leaning more towards smaller bags. So um, the fact that this is a smaller bucket bag, I think will just help me to reach for it more often. So I looked out on this bag 
Um, I, I, I gotta tell you guys, I gotta tell you, the seller was, um, it was, they had listed it for $120, but you can, in some cases on eBay, you can make offers. And I, I did, I, I made an offer for half that and just, you know, and they, they accepted it. So I, I kind of feel bad, but I also feel good. Here's my next Ralph Lauren item, which I already have to do some spot cleaning because of Loki, but I got this Ralph Lauren quilted jacket. The details on this jacket, I mean, it's just like, look at this inside lining. I believe this is probably, yeah, current. Like maybe you could find this in a Dillard's or something. I mean, look, look at that. That is so pretty to me. Um, and the fact that it has the snap closure for the, what's this called? The wind something. Um, but that that is a really cool feature. Then you've got this with a little button that says Ralph Lauren, and then you can cinch it in further and put, pull it back and it'll like cinch in your waist. Um, there's this little detail here on the hood, um, but yeah, like, you know, I'm just a Ralph Lauren girl. Like, I don't know. Like, yeah, there's the hood on here. Pretty sure the hood, yeah, the hood is completely removable. I love when you get that versatility in a jacket where you can add an accessory, and I do feel like a hood can be considered an accessory on a jacket. So being able to remove it, I think is such a nice feature. I, I do think I'm gonna title this a Ralph Lauren haul. There's no, I have to, because this, this takes my breath away. I don't know why it does. I don't know why these little things and these little trinkets do it for me. Please comment and let me know what does it for you. Is it shoes? Is it belts? Is it a planner? Is it a candle? Is it body butter? Is it a lipstick? Tell me what your vice is, what your kryptonite is, because little vintage things like this, containers, I love. But let's get real, I love everything. Pens, tissue paper, bags, gift tags. I don't know what my deal is, but I saw this and, um, and it was just one of a kind on eBay. And I told my mom about it. And then I didn't see it anymore on eBay. And I was like. Um, and then she's with me. She's home. And like, look at this. This is Lauren by Ralph Lauren. And the whole. Do you see, do you see what I'm saying? This I do think is gonna be my focal piece in my guest bedroom. If you've been watching my hauls lately, stuff I've been finding at Dollar General, TJ Maxx, I have been finding some really cute equestrian style things. And this, this box is everything. There is a chance I could move this box around. Like I love it so much. I do feel like I need to see it every day. And I wouldn't see it every day if it was like in a guest bedroom. So I don't know. I don't know, but but I have to say that this originally, when I saw it, I knew it was going to be how I was going to base my entire guest bedroom off of. So, so yeah, so there's that. Um, this is, I, I'm just going to show. Um, my mom got me that. Uh, conspiracy theory revealed the truth. It's a game. Looks like from TJ Maxx. You know what I do love about TJ Maxx? I don't know how they acquire these things, but the board games are so unique and different. I don't see them at Target. I don't see them at Walmart. So if you don't see it there, where were they originally prior to TJ Maxx? Like, I, don't, I don't know how any of that works, but I got this board game. Really cool. I mean, I could always use the little cards for... Um, junk journaling, if, I don't know, the game might actually be really interesting. So I gotta definitely play the game. I love a good board game. So there's that. Um, Micah got a pack of socks, which I think came from my mom. It was like Harry Potter socks. And Micah gave me the Ravenclaw set because I'm a Ravenclaw and she's a Slytherin. So, um, so here are my little Ravenclaw socks. Um, a lot of these things you guys have already seen in a ton of videos. 
This is the book, How Does It Feel? I'm gonna link my Amazon Christmas favorites list below if you wanna go sort through that list, but this was in a video. So I'm not gonna stay too long on this other than to reiterate, I am one, very excited to read this book, and two, there's supposed to be such a huge, like, shocking plot twist that's very much intrigued me. So I'm trying not to overhype it up, but I am very interested in this book um, and seeing what everyone's kind of talking about. So I got that for myself a while back from Amazon and I've held it for this long for, for gifting it to myself. Under so got a lot of athletic wear, um, which I'm very excited about. So I got this little two piece set with you know, just a good pair of leggings, but the back is what's interesting. Love the cutout. Um, I'm definitely going to get back into my, my workouts. I really miss it. Most of you can watch my vlogs or you just know enough about me. You know that I love running. I shouldn't be running anymore, but guess who's going to run again? Me. Um, cause I'm just a sucker for punishment. Then I got like so many sports bras, so many leggings. I was just really not expecting this at all. I got another good pair of black leggings. I got this color and this color. Um, and then I got all, oh, and this color. Like, so excited. And these are the sports bras that I got. So pretty, absolutely love them, love all. Did you think the Ralph Lauren show is over? It's not. Look what I got. I'm not gonna lie, my mom, my mom spoiled me. She spoiled me this year and I like, they nailed it. Everyone nailed it for me this year. Um, and I'm just so, like this book is massive. It's heavy, it's gorgeous. I've already looked through almost every single photo in here and learning about Ralph Lauren and all the homes he has and how each home and in, in that location he has styled to that style, like that state, but also like, you know, like I think he has like a Colorado home, for example. And he also has a home like up east, like in the coast or something. And just oh every everything about this man. Why wasn't I born into your family? Isn't that the real question? I also got this label maker, so I'm very like, very excited to kind of see how it works. Pretty sure that you run it off of an app, like most things. Um, but yeah, I, I, I could, I could, I could, I don't know. I have no clue how these little gadgets work. I know it's a label maker and like, I love label makers. So I also got myself a new jewelry organizer. So if you know my last jewelry organizer, I'm going to link my jewelry list down below for you as well from Amazon because I just love, oh, my little light just died. I love my Amazon jewelry, um, like wearing all of it. Um, so anyways, I digress. So I have a whole list down below, but I realized I need a really good solid jewelry organizer and I want to get to a point where if I can see it, I'm more likely to use it better. And I love the jewelry organizer that I have now. It's very beautiful. It's very vintage, but there's not much storage space for it. And I find myself not putting my daily things back into it. And so I end up throwing my daily earrings and rings on top of it. And then I'll never look in it, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna kind of revamp my whole jewelry thing. I'm gonna put it all in a vlog. Um, so I got this one from Amazon. Now that also comes in a shorter tier, by the way. And, but I did wanna get the taller tier. So, you know, in this first layer, you have this right here where you can do all your rings and little things in here and then you have like look at these drawers like they're they're stunning there's different boxes and and like set up to just yeah i don't know but of course i had to get it in black it also does come in multiple colors 
Now I'm gonna show you guys what Micah got me for my birthday and for Christmas. And it was just so incredibly thoughtful and it it was it was my favorite Christmas birthday yet that I've ever had. And not really so much from like the gifts, but just from how thoughtful everyone was in their gift giving, that meant a lot. And just how much fun Micah and I had, just being home and just coming down off of all the stress I had put myself under, you know, I don't know. Anyways, I digress. It was a great Christmas. I had to turn on the lights. Sorry, the lights are like going on and off. Um, so the first thing she got me was this uh, body butter called Moonlight Glow from Tree Hut. But I love, I love the smell of Moonlight Glow. Um, she also got me some really cute stickers. Oh, and she got me little golden books, but I just realized I put that up. But let me go grab them. So here are the little golden books that she got me. She was so proud of herself and like I really did not expect for Micah to get me the little golden books. So I'm so excited that she did. I love these. I've been collecting them actually. Um, so that surprised me so much. Like you have no idea how much it surprised me that she, she knew that, you know what I mean? Um, then she got me this little pack of like vintage little papers. She also got me this book right here by a thread. I feel like it's giving Hallmark. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. Uh, something about how some guy, his mother's a CEO. They hired this girl. It's, it's a co-workers thing, so, and it has fashion. So it'll be really interesting. Like, that looks, that's a pretty chunky book. So I'm very excited to read that. So she got me that. And she also got me Jackie, Forever Mood, Jackie Aina. I think I'm saying her last name right. If you do not know about this woman, now you do. Micah and I have taught, I shouldn't put this on the internet because cops are going to show up at my door. Micah and I have literally discussed how we can legally stalk her. <laughs> um, we just want to, we want to be best friends with her and we don't know how to go about that. Um, so there's that. And what's interesting is both Micah and I fell in love with her kind of separately through TikTok. And then we were like, we found out. And then, you know, we have this connection now because we both love Jackie so much. And any, anyway, she has her own candle. And actually this came in a gift pack. It came with four candles. I, get, I let Micah have the other two. And I kept these of the four since we both love her. Even though Micah did gift me the full candle set, she loved two of them and I love these two. And it just worked out. You know, not every scent is for everybody. And so the two that she loved, she loved and I loved these, so it just was perfect for us. Anyways, Forever Mood is Jackie's like company. She does these candles. They're everything, she's everything. Watch her on TikTok. That's it, the end. So when she got me that, I was so shook that Micah did that because we recently only kind of discovered Jackie about like a month ago. So anyways, now the last thing Micah got me had me shaking in my boots. If you're new, you probably don't understand my reaction. If you're not new, you completely understand my reaction. Um, I'm a mug person i'm a vin i'm even more so a vintage mug person and micah found these and teddy bears so it's it's all three mugs vintage and teddy bears the next item i got for myself off of amazon it's very small but i feel like maybe somebody needs to know about this and it's this little contraption right here okay and it is magnetic and it is strong. Like I'm having to use quite, it doesn't look like it, but like quite a bit of force to pull it apart. Now, are you wondering what this is? Well, this 
you clasp your necklaces to. Now they make this with multiples. I only got one with two. What this does is it prevents your necklaces from twisting into each other, from tangling while you're wearing it. So you're gonna hook your necklace to these pieces, essentially. And you know, if you're wearing two, it's gonna stop them from ra raveling and it's gonna stop them as well from you know when like, I'm sure you've seen it on me, like when you have the end of the necklace and it's like in the front and it should be in the back. This is also gonna stop that because this has the weight and it's more likely gonna sit and stay in the back of my head. Um, so I'm very excited for this. I'm probably gonna end up upgrading and doing like the three. Now we're gonna end this with stocking stuffers, except I am not gonna go back through all the stockings because I have a fully dedicated video to everything that I basically got for myself. So I'm gonna link that video down below. If you just need a good haul video, maybe you're at home, you need to put on a video while you're cleaning or you're just cozying up, like what, whatever. I'll link that video down below if you wanna watch it. But what I will do right now is I'm gonna pull my top 10 favorites and show you those. These are in no particular order, by the way. I'm not gonna say this is number 10, like whatever. They're just my top 10 favorite of everything. So I'm just gonna do beauty blenders. I love beauty blenders. I really, who thought of this? And the craziest part is, is that from the 90s, we were using sponges. We were using those thin little sponges. What were we doing? Using those dry. I never knew to wet them. Were they supposed to be wet? Don't have a clue. But for me, I still have yet to get off of the beauty blender to apply my BB cream. I don't use foundation anymore. I don't even remember the last time I put foundation on my skin. I use BB cream. It's my favorite thing. Um, and I use a beauty blender to apply it. So it's just, you know. Um, next up is this one right here. It has a beauty blender and it's from Dollar Tree. I got these in multiple colors, but the makeup remover cloth, this, this is, this is gold. This is gold to me ever since I made this discovery of such a, such an item, such a magical, whimsical thing that takes up off all of my makeup without any of the chemicals in a, uh, makeup wipe. It's just, it's changed my whole world. Um, are you surprised? You shouldn't be. Nothing about me should surprise anyone at this point on this, on this, uh, app. Uh, this lipstick is everything. It's from Dollar Tree. And I was actually wearing it. Um, I wear it over a lip balm or like a Carmex. That's it doesn't seem pigmented, but that's because again, I'm wearing it over Carmex. So because of that oily substance, you just don't get much of a pigment when you do that, but it's just enough for me. Cause what I want is I want my lips to look natural. I want it to look like my natural color and I'm bringing it back. But this thing, she's pigmented, okay? Um, it's just how I apply it. Cause I have that layer on before it. Okay, the butter bronzer. I have yet to even steer off of this thing. I'm a creature of habit. If it works, why change it? Um, so there it is. This clip. It's funny because I got a lot of really great things. And as I was picking my top 10 things, I was like, something about this clip I really love. It's from Dollar Tree. I think it's just the fact that it has that recycled look because it is an eco claw clip made from wheat straw, made with sustainable material. It's just so cute. And how is it a dollar twenty-five? That's why it made top ten. This guy, this guy made top ten simply purely from the fact that I desperately need it. My hands, she's she's looking, she's looking like tails from the crypt. The skeleton. But okay. Uh, then this necklace right here. This is the cutest thing. I got this from Francesca's on Micah's yesterday for her birthday. We had a jackpot of jewelry there. Again, they were having a massive jewelry sale. So we just took advantage of that. And we found this gem right here. I'm going to wear this. I'm going to put this on Loki's collar. And it's everything to me because Loki and I are like this. He's asleep right now. It's his nap time if you're wondering where he is. Okay, next up. I'm counting these two together. 
just some, some junk journaling items. This is from Dollar Tree, the little receipt book. Um, I love this thing. I hope Dollar Tree never stops making this. And then this item right here, I believe I got this from Amazon. I'm not sure where I found this, probably Amazon app. Yeah, yes, Amazon, because I remember linking it in the video where I originally hauled this. So little junk journal finds. I'm also counting this as one whole item as well. So where are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is nine. And I'm counting all my little games. I love computer games. I love app games. I've been a game girl since I was little, like, and I'm still that way. Like, I loved playing video games with my brother. I loved trying to be better at him at the games. I loved the car driving games. GT4, that's my vice. Haven't played it in a really long time. Let me tell you a story about when the Bratz video game came out in the, what, the PS2? Um, Micah had to have been seven. I don't even know how old Micah was. She was very young and I got it for her. I stayed up that entire night playing it. I had to call in to work because I had had no sleep. Yeah, no, that that is that is a true story. It's embarrassing, but it's a true story. Um, so anyways, I'm just trying to emphasize how much I love video games. And these are computer games. And I got this True Crime Road Trip. These two I got from Amazon. And this one I picked up at Walmart. But I'm pretty sure this one is available at Walmart as well. I have to tell you guys, the mystery case files, this one. Look for this little badge. Because they are very good. And coming in at number 10, no one's going to... I would like to thank Dollar Tree for giving us this. Now, is there probably a better brow product out there? Yeah. I mean, I have the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil. Something about this one though, for me personally, and I'm a person with no hair here, just no hair. This just makes it so easy to draw in. I love the little spoolie. I have to tell you guys, the spoolie will sometimes like come off. So the quality isn't quite there sometimes with that, um, but it is $1.25. Uh, I, I love this product. Love it to death. I get in the color dark brown. So that's, that's my top 10 of my favorite stocking stuffers. And... I feel like I might be forgetting stuff in this video on what I got, but I mean, like this, this does it for me right here. If I just had gotten this, I, anyways, I just, I don't know. Anyways, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, it really kind of is crazy how how many of these I've done. I hope you like it. I hope you like that I'm keeping to this tradition. And that's it for today. I will see you guys really soon. I am gonna be doing what I think might be my favorite video of the entire year. I don't, what I don't understand is why I've never really done this video before. But I'm gonna do the best of Dollar Tree of 2023. And I, I have been working on this list for so long. The categories, there's not just one category. It's not like my top, the best top 20 items of 20. No, no, no. There are specific categories. And I am just so excited to talk about what Dollar Tree did to me this year. And my favorite things. Like, you, you know, she's showing up. Like, I'm not even like, okay. Um, but I'm just... I, I truly love Dollar Tree so much. I've never been sponsored, although if they get into that, hey, I've been talking about y'all for like 10 years now. I think when I say those things, I'm a little bitter. <laughs> um, but anyways, that's it. I, thank you guys for hanging out with me today and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.